Knock, knock. Who's there? Barbara. Barbara, black sheep. Have you any wool? <laughs> what did Beach say to the tiger when it came in? I don't know. Long time no see. <laughs> what do you call a bee with messy hair? I don't know. Frisbee! <laughs> What do you call man in a hole? I don't know. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> do you have a joke? We really need your videos! Send them in to Mighty Mungos at SaintMungos.org. We love seeing your faces. Here at Mighty Mungos, we are thankful. Forget it, at it. Let's see who sent in their videos this week. We're thankful for swimming in the sea. And chasing hares. We're thankful for dinosaurs and rainbows. We're, We're thankful, thankful for sunsets. And the beach. And the beach. And the beach. So what are you thankful for? Send in your video to mightymangos.org. We love seeing your faces. It's time for WhatsApp. <laughs> So clap your hands and sing Shout out and worship Him So clap your hands and sing And let the praise begin Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like You There'll never be another Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like You God. You walked upon the earth you made oh, wow, oh, wow. You died and now we can be saved oh, wow, oh, wow. You rose and left an empty grave oh, wow, oh, wow. And one day you're coming back again
parable. It's a funny word, isn't it? Sometimes Jesus wanted people to really understand important things that he was teaching them. If the lessons were complicated or hard, he sometimes told simple stories to help people understand them. These stories were called parables. It sounds like they're a story about one thing, but they're actually there's a message in them about something else, and it's something really important. I've loved listening to the different parables that we've heard about over the last few weeks on Mighty Mongos, and today we're going to look at another one. You might have heard of it. It's the parable of the wise and the foolish man. Maybe you might know a song about it. So um, let's take a look. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. So in this story, there's a wise man and a foolish man, one who built the house on the sand and one who built the house on the rock. This is a story about foundations. The foundation of a house is the, is the very first thing that's built. It's the bottom of the house. And the foundation has to be strong to make the house strong. The wise man chose rock as the foundation for his house. A rock is steady, it's strong, it doesn't move, and it makes a really good solid foundation. A house built on rock can stand firm even in really strong storms and rain. The foolish man, he chose sand. Now, sand isn't like rock, it moves, it's not solid ground. So when the wind and the rain and the storms came, the foolish man's house collapsed. Its foundations weren't strong, so they would slip and they would slide around. I wonder if you've been to the beach this summer. We've been quite a few times and it's probably been one of my favorite things that we've done on the summer holidays. So beaches are brilliant for paddling, for swimming, for digging, maybe sand castles. Um, but what sand isn't great for is for building a house on. But this isn't just a story about where is a good place to build a house. There's a reason that Jesus told this parable. He's got another message to get across. It's something deeper than just being a story about rock and sand. He doesn't leave us guessing or he explains to us the point that he is trying to make. Jesus said, everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. He's saying that we can be like the foolish man if we hear what God is telling us, if we read the words in the Bible, but we don't put it into practice. We just listen and then we forget it. Jesus was explaining that it's really important to think about what foundations we have, not in our house, but in our life. If we base our life on things that can be shaken or wobbly, then when difficult things happen, then we might feel wobbly and shaken, scared or unsure, and it might even feel like we're falling apart. If we have God's words and the truth about who he is and who we are as our foundation, if we hear it and we also live by it, then we will be less shaken and our faith will be stronger. This doesn't mean that we don't experience storms, that life isn't sometimes really difficult, but it means that we know that our lives won't completely fall apart, even in the very worst times, because there's something stronger than us underneath it all. So how can we do this? One way, one way is by making time in our lives to really hear what God says, by reading the Bible, by praying. It's really easy to fill our days and our lives with lots of really other brilliant things. You know, we're often busy people, we've got places to go, people to see, and life can be so busy that we don't even realize we've started to build on sand again. I do this all the time and we all can. We forget about making God our foundation, about um, making him the most important thing. We start to rely on ourselves instead or we make other things take the place of God in our lives. And sometimes it's only when the storms come, when things get difficult, that we actually realize what kind of foundations we have. Like with this parable, if we listen to it, not just as a nice story with a song maybe, but if we pause and ask, what is God saying to me through this story? It starts to change the way that we live and who we are. Now, I need help to do this, we all do. So in a minute, we're gonna take just a moment to ask God to help us to be more like the wise man and to build on the rock. 
There's a song that you've maybe heard on Mighty Mongos, it's called The Rock and it's by Nick and Becky Drake. It's a brilliant song and it's going to come up next. So just listen to it. You can sing along or you can just listen to the words. Um, it's about how Jesus is the rock that we are on. These are some of the words in the song. There is hope on the rock. In the storms you won't be knocked. Fix your eyes on the cross. Jesus Christ, my solid rock. Thank you, Jesus, that you are our solid rock who we can always trust in and depend on. And thank you that you can't be shaken. Help us to know what it means to stand on and build on you. Amen.
Mighty Mongoose, we love to get the Word of God in our minds and in our hearts. That's why we have Nami Verse Challenge! Let's see Sue who says in their video. Let's see Sue says in their videos this week. Read twice with me. I found my lost sheep. Read twice with me. Matthew chapter 15, 6. Rejoice with me, for I have found my lost sheep. Matthew 15, verse 6. And the main thing this week is, John well, please. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew 7, Verse 24. Good morning and welcome to Mighty Mongo's News. I've just got one thing for you this morning, but it's our cracker, so roll the tape. I love it when you send in a picture or a video and you're wearing your cap. But let's face it, we've all had a little look at the Lions family and thought, The wait is over. Check out the web link and you can get your own Mighty Mungo's merchandise. That's it. Our time together is almost over, but we just have time for my favourite section, Family Face Off! Thank you so much for joining us here at Mighty Mongo's this morning. It's time for you now to go and grab a drink, grab some more snacks, grab a and, coffee and, and, go for me. <laughs> and join us back here at 10.30 for the next part of St. Mongo's Church Online. See you soon.